Hey y'all. So, we're doing a reading on the bed because I just, I don't know, man. It's just, uh. Let me tell you something about retrograde, right? First off, this is some bullshit because this is like a really hard retrograde this year, but it's 2020, so. It's the number four for any of you who want to follow numerology. I really don't understand it. I just know there's a significance with the number. I'm not putting out my normal steel. Don't be coming in here. Atting me. Because I'll at you back and you won't like it. I'll go at, at Okay, so remember that, right? You got the five of cups reversed here. People ended shit and they ended it dramatically. Because possibly a betrayal. Possibly some other stuff. We have the Nine of Pentacles reverse, a little pair telling somebody something that they don't want to hear. Repeating some shit, right? I could have looked at this, but nah. Uh, Ten of Swords reverse. Some Julius Caesar shit, but it's like people were stopped before a betrayal happened. Ten of Cups. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind you, this is just random. No introductions, no whatever. So you just pick up whatever you want to do. I really don't give a shit. Resonates with you? Cool. If not, don't be coming in here talking shit. Cause I really don't care. I'm not in the mood. I have not had a good 48 hours. Because I'm only running 3 hours to sleep in 48 hours. Don't. Okay, sorry. I'm like doing shit in the background. So, you know. So let's see. Well, first off, someone doesn't want to be single, and, they, and they're just trying to listen for weird shit. I feel like about not being betrayed in some way, or got sabotaged, so it doesn't happen. Because, like, they really don't want to focus on freaking up. So what is up with this Five of Cups reverse? It's like, they just can't get over it. It's like it hurts too much. But, like, I don't know, like, this pairing right here, they just look sloppy fucking drunk. They just look like, you know, he needs to stop st sticking shit in your tits. Right there. You see that? I don't know why that's there. I don't think that's a bullet, a gun, or money. But it's there. It's just, like, not... It's, like, and there's waivers. There's stuff right here. You know? It's, like... It stinks. It stinks. It's, like, the smell of alcohol and shit. Or they have to be drunk to be around each other, maybe? But they don't even look at each other. Like, she's not even looking at him. And he's too busy admiring her tatas to really pay attention to how she's posing her body language, I feel like. Because I feel like she's not really interested in him. He's like, he's got his hand around her, for sure. Um, that doesn't mean that she likes having whatever that is stuck in her titties. Because, you know. Let's see. What's up with this Five of Cups reverse? Someone wants to make an offer here, love. It's very innocent, very almost mature, but I don't feel like it. Like, like they look like they're doing really well. It's in their sniff and their bowl of soup, right? But it's also like they're not offering. It's like they wouldn't chase after a cup before because it was like they were too busy feeding into other shit. Now I got the four cups feeling all regretful a little bit about everything because something isn't happening in the way they thought it would. So now they want to offer their cup up. And now I got another book. These th these cards always throw books down. Well, like, here, let me grab this so you guys can see it. Okay, so look. This is the row. I hope you can see it, right? I got like one, two, three, four cards. That's how I always lay it out. This deck, um, always, always. Um, lays out books on the phone, so that's why there's so many, you know? So, let's see. Yeah, there's the book. Alright, someone doesn't have the strength or they're restricting themselves from living the best life. You know, because they're all indecisive and shit. Because they want someone to stick their feet up under somebody's butt. Or maybe they're doing that to another person. I'm not entirely sure. They just want their focus on them. Um... And they want to send the message. Spread them seeds around. I'm going to sow my seeds alone thing. Kingdom of the Universe. If you can mention it. Yeah, they want to make an offer to make this place a home, build with somebody else. You know, they got that shit. They just want to be like, I want to offer, but why is the cup not facing the Ten of Pentacles? 
Who is burying what? Is this a... F this is karmic. Okay, so we're doing our first karmic reading. Hi, how are you? This is what this is. I was just gonna randomly read shit, but that's okay. But yeah, like, why is this bitch, like, got her cup over here, but she wants to build on the other side? What's going on with this? This is a karmic read. Yay. So I guess this is gonna be the spread for that. I usually use this for my clients, but that's okay, because, like, whatever. Nine of Pentacles reverse, you know. Someone's all dazed and confused and they don't know what to fucking do because the options and all the choices look like shit with this Nine of Pentacles reverse. They keep looking at the fucking parrot like, tell me something. It is just like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. You know, like, that's what it does. It's just like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Every time, like, it asks it something like, oh, parrot of magic, how could I get this well, done? You know, it just keeps doing that. It's just like, it's a really smart-ass parrot. That's what it does. Fuck parrot, you know? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Yeah, they're all confused about what not, about what to do, and they're putting their defenses up for sure. But there's people back here. I was telling the client this earlier because I did it for this reading earlier for them. Um, there are people you can't see, but you can only see one person. It looks like one enemy, but there's a whole bunch that are with them just being like, oh, we're going to guard against this. It's like, does someone have like ancestors or some shit that are just getting down and dirty with them, my dears? That's what it seems like to be with this current person. It says fucking, it's not even 10 yet, okay, Dan. Jesus. Ten of swords, reverse. Someone's trying to avoid a betrayal. But it seems like the past situation just isn't as friendly. Like everyone was playing with their teacups, but now everyone's like 18 and just like, why don't we put some liquor in the tea? Then it'd be whisk tea. Ha <laughs> ha! You know, like. <laughs> oh god I'm fucking stupid but yeah let's make some wix tea but it's like this is almost like to avoid it so if someone wants to try to spice up what happened in the past but it's like everyone has grown out of the situation you know yeah it, it's kind of like it's time to escape from this shit you know it's like um like if someone needs to take their cups Whoever this possible karmic person is, like, they want to, like, the things that worked in the past aren't working anymore, which is probably why she's got her cup facing away from the Ten of Pentacles. Like, she's not focused on making a home as much as she is trying to be focused on who she's going to offer a cup to, possibly to get to this drunken state with this dude who stuck pens and such in her titties, right between, it's right in there, you know, it's just like, yeah, I can hold the pencil with my boobs, I can hold the broomstick with my boobs. I've done that before. I fucking hate my boobs. They're too big. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, this is definitely... Yeah, okay, so now we have a karmic spread now. But it's still a client spread, too. But that's okay. Because we can still look at this shit, right? But yeah. Um, This Ten of Cups right here. Someone was trying to be an empress. And, uh, you know, there was a tire moment with it. I'm not sure what that is. But I know this bitch isn't interested in uh, this guy right now. He's all focused on her, and she's just like, well, you get the fuck away from me. You smell like alcohol. You do too, baby. I love it, you know? And it's like, she wanted to be the empress, and now it's like there's a wake-up call. Hmm, I'm dropping one more. Fuck it. I don't care. I, this is my channel. Oh, I don't... Oh. I had a book. Hold on. Ah, you... Beware, foul beast. I am doing my cards. I know what you want to do. Well, you show your butthole to the world. Right? Alright. You're gonna try to get in my lap. You know? Okay, there were secrets going on, y'all. Where there was some indecision being made. Yeah, you're trying to get in my lap. Yeah, you are. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, there's some indecision here as well with these secrets. Um, Kitten, you're not making this easy because, like, I'm literally breathing into your fur and it's making you warm. I know. There's some secrets about indecision here. And it's getting to a point where it could be air sign, possibly. You know? 
not being really happy once again with the situation where they have to develop their own skills i feel like you go there crazy and yeah mix the pants mix 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 you know um sorry people are texting but um hmm it's like they're not happy trying to deal with shit themselves. It's like they don't want to... It's like, with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like they don't want to focus on themselves. They're worried over here with the other Nine of Pentacles of what of being told shit. But they don't like what they're being told. You know. It's like they want this Empress, but the Tower moment is that someone isn't making an offer. Or they aren't trying to give a really good offer. Or they're giving... Like, the shittiest offer one could ever shit. You know? It's like... It's almost like they want to try to make something happen. But it seems like those who are karmic are just like, no, no. This is, this is, like, I don't know if this is current creates. I guess we're going to go with that. Route. But it feels like it. It feels like somebody's kind of, like, um, stuck in their shit. You know? I feel like what's happening, like, someone might have poured their emotions out. That, like, you know, things aren't working out the way they believed it would. They didn't have everything gathered. They didn't have everything set up. It's like they didn't put in the effort or something. Or somebody didn't put in enough effort to do whatever. Ooh, that's a hell of a book. You know, like, they kept taking naps on the bird and be like, oh, it's not a big deal, you know, but, like, at the same time, it was like they weren't letting somebody else rest at all. You know, they have, um, they were working, having shit to do on the job, and they kept, like, fucking off on with taking care of the shit, right? When it came to another person, all they did was, like, cause problems so they couldn't get any rest, right? That way, they could keep the door open thinking, like, someone's gonna get married or some shit, you know? But the King of Swords is here, and truth be told, you know, he didn't really follow, or follow, or fall, is what I'm trying to say, because I'm looking at the next card. Um, they didn't really fall for the temptations here. Um, or maybe it's a Capricorn, I don't know. Or someone's speaking the truth, and in that regard, like, you know, someone's kind of lost on what to do. But at the same time, they saw this shit coming, too. But they kept making excuses for it, almost under the suggestion that, you know, I'm going to stab that motherfucker in the face. In the face. In the face. Mix it, kitten. Mix it. Yes. Those pants need to mix and get you unwrinkled. Yes. These my good girls. Look, I love my kitten. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this little angel right here. Look at her, mixing her heart away. That's for a mummy's pants. You love it, don't you? Don't come over here trying to steal me. Alright. The Nine of Pentacles over here. Someone's confused. Someone doesn't know what the fuck to do with all these shitty options. And they're trying to keep their guard up about it. Because it feels like they're lost. Yeah. Once again, it could be Capricorn. But it also could be somebody that's just not falling for the temptations of things anymore. And that's why they're keeping guard. And that might be what this person is uh, not liking to hear. It's just like this person isn't, like, letting up, you know? Like, it feels like there's no other options, and they have to keep their guard up, and they don't want to, like, fall for any more tricks or something. Um, possibly because they saw how this shit's actually going, or possibly this karmic realizes that this person, um, well, they see exactly what the fuck's going on. Like, they can see that they're aware, and that's why they're not falling for the bait, you know? Uh, there might be communication needed, for sure. Or someone could be communicating with the star right here, could be Aquarius. When it comes to, like, having to run away from, like, something that isn't good, like it used to be in the past. This might be codependency, too. This could be somebody, like, playing a game. I, I, it's like, y'all could communicate, but in, in truth, even if you communicate, you're not gonna find any common ground. So... You could be dealing with a karma for someone else's, but it's like, no matter what happens, no matter what you communicate, y'all aren't gonna, or somebody's not going to, like, be able to talk their way out of shit. It's like someone, fi like, did somebody figure out a game? Because that's what it feels like. It's like someone was playing games, and someone figured something out. Yeah, 
Um, with this off over here, this empress, this tower, she's not offering anything because it's like someone was too busy getting the victory for every, like, battle they won, right? And now it's just kind of like, oh shit, oh shit, I didn't mean to, to win it that way. Fuck. Someone bit off more than they can chew and this empress basically was like, nah, you know, I'm gonna start a new path, right? And sure, you could try to, I, I could try to save you to start a new beginning here, offer you something. Oh, wait, hold up a minute. No, that's not what she's saying. This this is what she's doing. A water sign could be making an offer for a brand new start right here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And that'll lead to like a leave of faith where someone actually is saving somebody else. I don't know who. But that's like the tower moment. Someone who's realizing that somebody's got options while the other person does not. And that's probably the issue right here. It's probably the karmic without the ish without stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. How the fuck are you going to get people to drop their swords and then try to bring it back to them like, you know, like, yeah, I know I caused some problems and I made you want to walk away, but here are your swords back. I'm carrying them for you. You know, like, how are you going to do that? What the fuck? Like, this person knows that they did something, but now they're trying to bring swords back to you. Because, you know, with all of the cups, they're just kind of like, eh, like, I mean, are, like, are they emotional about you? I don't know. Three cards, please. For the end, for the advice for anybody who watches this, and this scenario fits them, if you would be so kind, please. Because I feel like it's like, yeah. We have the Knight of Swords. He always looks like the sun to me. Because of the, it literally looks like the sun card, but it's reversed. So I feel like it could also be Leo, but also Earth signs. Capricorn towards Virgo. Someone who's not offering. I feel like almost because, like, they're... Too stuck in their own glory, if you will. Then we have the King of Swords reversed. That's probably why he's not offering, too, because someone's being a little bitch or whatever. We actually, yeah. And it caused some people to need to make decisions, but it's really hard to mentally cut the decisions in order to get out of this mental space that's keeping you feel like you need to slumber all the time, y'all. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I might see it just looks karmic to y'all. Really doesn't matter. Um, but I can definitely see the issues here. Terrible. But that's what I got, guys. So I'll talk to you later. I'll try to put the zodiacs out before March. Before March. But don't hold your breath because you know I haven't done any of them. So it might be another week before I actually put them out. And if I do that, I'll try to just be like, you know. I'll probably try to make them an hour long. It'll make up for the time missed. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.